this episode, I will show you how to make the latest design, the Sleepy Hollow Quilt. Hi everyone, I'm Jo from Elsie Grays and today I'm going to show you how to sew curved pieces together to create the flowering snowball block. For this project, you will need the Sleepy Hollow Quilt pattern and templates, fabrics, linen, pins, scissors, cutting boards. I've got a 28 mil rotary cutter and your sewing machine. To create your first block, from template one, you will need four different fabrics. Template two, a plain fabric, which I've used a blue linen. And template three, I've used a, a chambray. I like to start by laying my pieces out so I know what it's going to look like. And this little red one goes in the middle. And then your last piece. And the way we sew these together is we will sew that together, this together, and this piece together. Sewing curves can be quite intimidating for some people, but it's actually really easy. So with your first piece, I'm just going to fold that in half and just finger press that. And I put my pin in there. And that's my center. I'll do the same with this piece. So the straight edge lines up against the, the straight edge. Finger press and then I find my center point there and pin. Put my straight edge together and pin in the corner. And this one can be a little bit tricky because it loves to move a bit. And we're just going to pin there. And then without stretching your fabric, I sort of pull it a little bit taut and put another pin in there. And the same here. And then we're ready to take that to the sewing machine and sew. We need a quarter inch seam. Some of you use a quarter inch foot. On my Benina, I like to use the normal sewing foot and I move my needle over to number three and that gives me the quarter inch seam that I need. So we're just going to, and I'm going to sew these very slowly. And take my pins out as I get to them. Now, just here, I'm just going to pull that a little bit taut without stretching it. Now, it likes to sort of bunch up under there, but just if you keep manoeuvring that foot around, and there's your first piece. So simple. So we're just going to do exactly the same on the other side. Fold that over, finger press, and put your pin in. And remember we're matching the straight edge. Finger press, find your center, pin in the middle, and then in either ends and then we'll pop those pins in the middle just giving it a little bit of a, a stretch you're not stretching it you're just sort of pulling it a little bit taut so you can get that seam nice and flat and you might need to sort of maneuver it around a little bit and then we'll take that to the sewing machine and sew that one. Once you've sewn one, start with the second one. Again, we're pinning in the middle. After you've sewn the first two pieces, 
we're just going to sew the center piece. So again, we're just going to pop a little pin in there. And we're just going to sew from here to here. Okay, you've sewn your first little square onto that one. And we're just going to sew this one onto here. So right sides together. Pop a little pin in the centre there. And we'll sew from here to here. So these are the, your three main pieces. We're now going to take it to the iron. These will be pressed out and these ones will be pressed in. So once your pieces are pressed, see these two seams I have pressed out and your curved seams I have pressed inwards. So when we go to pin, they will sit nice and snug together. Okay, so the next step is to sew these two together. So we're just going to flip that over there and just going to butt those two seams together. Pop a pin in there and the same here. Now that's the easy bit. Like before, we're going to pull this over to here and match your straight seams together. Pop a pin in there and I do the same at the other end. And then we're just going to ease our pins all the way along. So again, I pop that one in the middle and I just pull that slightly. If you feel like you need to put more pins in, then go for it. I've done a few of these blocks now, so it's quite easy. Pin there. Pin there. And another one over here. And when you go, see that little lump there? When you go to sew, that will just flatten out. So that's the amount of pins I've got in there. Okay, now we're ready to sew this curve. And remember to take your pins out as you go. Again, just make sure that it's sitting flat and that you don't have any tucks. Just keep moving that piece and you'll feel that it, you'll feel it bunching up underneath so just make sure it's nice and flat as you sew. So your first piece is sewn to the centre piece and now we're just going to do exactly the same with this piece. Butt your seams together and pin. And same on this side. And then match your straight edges. pin from the middle and work your way around.
as you can see, I'm sort of maneuvering that around as I go without stretching it. And take that to the sock machine. So there's your first block together, just making sure that you've got no little tucks in your curves. And we're just going to iron these and we're going to iron the seams inwards. Once your block is nicely ironed, I then take this to the cutting board and I trim my block down to nine and a quarter. In this quilt here, I have made 42 blocks and this is your block here. Now I'm going to show you how to put four blocks together, which gives you the beautiful circle look. So arrange your blocks how you would like them to be. This can be a little bit tricky because you don't want sort of two colours the same together. So just keep sort of, you know, turning your blocks until you get the look that you, that you like. Once you're happy with your layout, we're going to sew these four blocks together. So we're going to sew these two together first and pin those and these two together and pin those. Making sure your seams match perfectly. Now you will have your seams going the same way, but that's okay because you can pin those so you'll get that nice circular shape. I always pin those first. And then I put one in that corner, one in that corner, and one in the middle. And we'll take that to the sewing machine. So using your quarter inch seam, Make sure those seams stay flat. Oops, I ran over a pin there. And there's your, your first two together. Oops, take that pin out. There's your first two blocks together. Repeat this process on these two blocks. So you will sew those two together and once they are sewn, you will sew these to this one to create your first square. When you sew the first two blocks together, see how I've opened the seam. I've ironed that open and same again when I've sewn this one to this one, I've opened those out. And that's your first block all ready. Once you have sewn all your blocks together, you can now decide which quilting finish you would like. On our Sleepy Hollow quilt here, we have had this professionally machine quilted, but this design would also look awesome with bid stitch quilting. Check out our recent tutorial, part two of the Elizabeth Mary quilt, big stitch quilting. Now that your quilt has been quilted, you can now move on to our new crocheted edge design the pom-pom border. Instructions on how to do this are in the Sleepy Hollow pattern, available on our website. For this design, we have used my favourite Fiddlesticks Wren in denim. Our Sleepy Hollow kits now come in a range of options. For those of you who can't stand all the cutting, we now have complete laser pre-cut kits available. The kit also comes in a range of background fabrics and kits start from $199. I hope you really enjoyed watching this tutorial and it inspires you to give curved piecing a go. As usual, please leave a comment, hopefully positive, like, share and subscribe to our channel.